So, um, funny story. Yesterday I got fired. It's actually not that funny. Today is the first day that I am just kind of unemployed. I'm unemployed. I have no employment. I don't know what to do with my life. I actually have no clue what to do. And it's okay, because I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm strong. <laughs> but I have no job. Like, what do I do? Isn't that weird that the capitalist world has just made me realise that I'm nothing without a job? Isn't that crazy? Because I am something. But I don't feel it. I don't feel like I'm something. Um... Anyway. <laughs> it's my first day. Jobless. Unemployed. <laughs> Anyway, I really want to go shopping, and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ayame, hey, you literally are jobless, unemployed, with no income. Are you sure you want to go shopping? But like, let me process this how I want to process this. I just want to go shopping. I want to go to like charity shops because I am now a charity. I saw this top the other day in H&M. That's really, I don't know why I've still got glasses on. It was like this man style top with like a button shirt. <laughs> And I really liked it, but it was like £20. It was a cropped version, it was £20. And I thought to myself, I can get something like that from a charity shop or a thrift shop and just cut it. Retail therapy, forget about the fact that I'm, yeah, unemployed right now. I mean, I should be on Indeed right now, but, you know, I'm going shopping. Because that's how I want to process it. Leave me alone, please. I'm at Portobello, so I'm going to walk down Portobello Road and just look in some shops. I've seen some things, but I had to go get a coffee first because, you know, I'm obsessed. Iced latte, soy. I really want to find that shirt, the shirt that I'm talking about. I'm going to do a little picture of the shirt here. I'm not paying £20 for a bloody shirt that I can get from a charity shop or a thrift shop. It's not happening. So I'm just going to walk down and we'll see what we can find. Let's go. Goodbye. So I think I found the shirt, but she didn't give me a bag. And I got really anxious when we were leaving, when I was leaving. So I didn't actually say, can I please have a bag? I got really anxious and just left. But I need a bag. So I think I might just buy a bag because now I'm just walking around like this. It's not, it's not exactly ideal, so yeah. But there's another shop we're going in. Okay, so I have a bag. I have a bag now. Um, but I also got a pair of pants. They're like cargo pants. To be honest, I feel like the mission is pretty much complete. I feel like we've got what we came here for, which were the shirts. But one thing about me, I like to spend my money, I really do. I've now decided that another thing I want is like work pants, men's work pants, like a pinstripe, long, straight-legged work pant, um, which I'm currently trying to find. We've got everything. Well, not really everything, because there are things that I really wanted kind of as the day progressed. Because, I mean, you're walking around Notting Hill and you're seeing people that are very well-dressed. You're like, oh, I could find that. Because, obviously, they dress quite um, 90s. You know the vibes. So, we got... I'll show you when we get home. I'll show you when we get home. So, we have the clothes from today. I need to see basically, okay, so first of all, let me show you first. So I got this shirt, which I can like envision, it's just a big, big shirt. I can just see, you know, I can just envision, it smells fine. This is another shirt that I got. That shirt I'm just gonna leave big. This one I'm probably gonna do the cutting. The cutting and the snipping, but at the same time I don't wanna cut and snip. I also think it's kinda cute to not cut and snip. I don't know, what look. I got these pants. When I was in the shop, I was looking at them and I was like, oh my God, I really like these. Now I'm like, oh my god, I really don't like these. I really don't like these. Why would I buy these? <sighs> I'm really bloated as well. Also about to give birth, so there's that situation, so don't judge me. First I'm gonna try this shirt and see whether I wanna keep it long or whether I wanna crop it, I don't know. I used to go charge shopping. Oh my god, I'll kill you. Okay. I used to go charity shopping like all the time. All the time with my mum. But then I got to an age where I was like, I thought it was like gross. Like I didn't want to wear other people's things. But then now I'm at an age where I'm like, oh my God, I hate this. <laughs> no. This is awful. This is hideous. Okay, wait, let me fix it. Okay, wait, let me just, okay, hold on. So, I mean like this, it's okay. I could do like this. But it's not like, it's not okay enough for me to keep it, you know what I mean? What if it was?
if it's like a, what if? I really like the pattern of it, so what if it was like a situation like this? No, that still sucks. Okay, do you know what? Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm actually furious. Why would I think that a man's top would fit me? It's just the collar. Do you know what it is? It's the collar. Yeah! Anyway, this one's going straight back. I think I can return it. They do a thing now where you can return clothes to charity shops. Okay, next we have this one. This was three pounds. That top, by the way, was five pounds. Five pounds. This was three pounds. Crazy bargains. But anyway, okay. What the hell? What the actual hell? What the actual hell? You know what? No, I feel like maybe I'm just being extra. This is this and this this can go. This can work with like it won't be done up like this, I tell you. But with like just this, just this kind of vibe. You know what? This one can stay, and it was three pounds. I'll keep this one. I'm gonna wash it though. You know what? Let's rip off the tag. Symbolic. <laughs> I actually shouldn't have done that. I actually should take this back because, oh, it's too late now. It's too late, it's too late now. So I'm currently editing and I realized that I haven't actually addressed the elephant in the room, which is the fact that I was fired <laughs> yesterday. It wasn't yesterday, it was Monday. Today is Wednesday. It's really not even anything serious. And technically I keep saying I was fired just to kind of add some drama, add some flair, but I was just let go. Um, I worked for a sale, worked. <laughs> I worked in a startup. Uh, specifically in sales for a startup company. Startup companies, as as they are, are very um, volatile and very fragile things. So yeah, I basically had a conversation on Monday uh, to which I said, we have to restructure. You're part of that restructure and that means goodbye. And to be honest, I'm not upset. I'm not really, the only thing I was scared about is the fact that I have a house and kids to feed. I don't have kids to feed, nor do I have a house, but I have kids to feed. I was really quite scared about the fact that I am now jobless, unemployed, <laughs> no income. For the time being, I'm just gonna focus on doing more TikTok stuff, more YouTube stuff, and just really kind of shh, let me not swear, putting out a lot of content. So yeah, that's the plan. So it was kind of a blessing in disguise, so to speak. That's why I got let go slash fired. I got fired and I'm suing. No, I'm not. But yeah, anyway, back to the show. What I've kept today, that one shirt that I can't even crop. Maybe I'll just buy the H&M shirt. No, I'm not buying. That shirt is like 20 <coughs> pounds. Oh my God, they don't even fit. Is it because I'm bloated? Maybe it's because I'm bloated. I feel like, I hate them. I think it's because I'm bloated, because what, look at this. Anyway. 